saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashib, Yahweh Shah, Bahashib Rakadah, Paleo Hebrew tongues, Christ Nazareth, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Pops and Elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, sister, brothers, life, and it's true. Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show themselves approved. Shalom. Talk about the day, man. Talk about Yahweh Shah. Man, some that <laughs> hey big brother about to come through, Yashra. He's about to be here real soon. Our savior. But we've been waiting for everything about to change I wish y'all comes through. So let's get to it. On your house shots glorious returns. And see, your house shots bringing the kingdom of heaven with him. He's bringing something real heavy that comes with him. And see, the Christian church don't do Yahweh Shah justice. Because when Yahweh Shah comes, he's going to raise up men with him as well. His return is going to shake the whole earth, man. Everybody going to feel the presence of Yahweh Shah, the top spirit that Yahweh made. is about to come back and rule the earth once again. And see, Esau doesn't want you to know that. That's why he gave us plantation christianity they tell you about a return but really don't get you ready for the return they don't even tell you that there's somebody coming to redeem and save you see redemption means a whole lot to an israelite because we know what it's like to be at the bottom of society so we really going to feel this thing when you have shows up because you're showing up on our behalf is what plantation christianity never tells you that you are a special people peculiar and there's a savior that's coming for you. And when he comes, you know, we all don't went off, came short of the glory of Yahweh, you know, concerning the law. Can't keep the law perfect, breaking the law, things of that nature. Now, when Yahweh Shah comes, he's coming with what? He's coming with forgiveness. That's what he shed his blood for, was for those sins that we done committed. You know, Yahweh Shah's coming with redemption. He's coming to redeem men, women, in Israel. And that right there is, that's what's going to make us get the victory, man. That's how we're going to get back to Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. That's the W. And it's coming soon. Something that the world don't want you to know or don't want you to think about. But we know better than that. And he gave us prophecy, which is written in this book to let us know the marker on is coming. And it's real soon. Real soon. That's why these Edomites are so nervous. You know, so this first John 2 and 12 gonna really hit hard when you really understand that you're a Hebrew Israelite and you understand you done went off. You know, we, we was in the dark, man. They had us all on Jesus and Plantation Christianity. And this had us out in the world just doing all kinds of lost stuff, man, being in the dark. And what we need is forgiveness for that. That's why we've been losing as a people. So check it out. This first John 2 and 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. So how shall telling us like, man, look here, man, I got you. 
We know you done did wrong. Know you done went off, did bad things in your life. But I'm about to forgive you for that. For seeking me. And pleasing my father. Yo, I say, I got you. For my name's sake. You know, it's a blessing that we even know his name. The name they pushed out there was a false name, which is Jesus. We no longer call upon that name. We call upon Yahweh Shai. And that right there shows a whole lot just in itself. To know his name again. That's how we know we're already getting that grace and mercy by being given the names. So we can't overstep that and look at that as something light. Because it's not. And then if we know his name, you know, for us that really understand this book and know this word. Phew, hey, that's why it really says that your sins forgiven you for my name's sake. Why? Because we know the Lord. We got wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We know him. That's a, it's about a relationship. You know, you hear a lot of people play I know, I know the Lord. But when you look at it, they really don't. They don't know the word. They don't know the names. They don't know the Lord. But we do. By seeking out the truth. Because <laughs> what's in them churches is lies. When you get to the truth, man, then you, you look at how your house y'all describe. You no, know, you get the true image in your head. Think of that brown man with that white beard. And their white fro, and white locks. And that right there, that's that's your mind being renewed, being cleansed. Getting you ready for rulership. You know, if you're a man in this truth, getting ready to rule. And really, women about to rule too. Because if the men ruling, guess what? Those Israelite women that get selected, they're going to rule too. We're going to rule through Yahweh Shah. The woman going to rule through whatever Israelite man she gets. That there will be a new rulership. And it comes through who? Who coming to rule again? Yahweh Shah coming to rule again. He coming to set this thing straight. Put it in righteousness. And that's the good news. And it's coming real, real soon. And see, I'm going to go get this. As I said, that it's based on a relationship. Because he always say, I know you. I know you. You know, to truly know Yahweh Shah, you got to know this word. You got to know his name. The same scriptures all the time about his name, man. Say right there, for my name's sake. Do you know my name? And we do. So check this out. Let's go to Job. Let's see, was that 19? We say, bear with me, Yash Allah. Bear with me. Because I did something that's popped on my spirit. I know it's a joke. Bear with me, y'all, Sharala. There you go. News in Job. Job 19 and 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Woo, what's that talking about? Let's talk about his coming. He gonna be here at the latter part of the earth. The latter or end of Esau's rulership. He's going to be here. My Redeemer liveth. He already beat death. You know, he in the spirit world perfecting his glory is coming. Which, <laughs> hey, they talking about the Pentagon. They say, man, it's some type of big chariot outside in the solar system and a bunch of other chariots. They've been saying that. <laughs> and then you look at MOTV about to be erected like, man, Yahweh Shah is very near. You know, he's very close. And you, like I said earlier, you can tell by looking at Esau, they nervous. Edomites are afraid of chariots because they know there's their destruction coming. When they see that father ship, that big giant chariot, the other shot going to be in, man, hey, they going to give up the ghosts. 
they're gonna give it up, man. And see, the thing you gotta think about too, they will tell you that is Yashrala. When Yahusha comes back, he's going to raise up men. There's gonna be 144,000 saints that's going to get special abilities, a standard lifted on their behalf. That's gonna rule with Yahusha. That's the new government. When those men get raised up, you no know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that group. Singing that new song, hey, they're going to take the earth back. Let's go get that. Let's go to Isaiah. It's about to, man, that power's about to come back and return. Esau gonna have to give it up. So check it out. This is Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not thy worm Jacob. Jacob going to Israel, Yasharala. And yea, men of Israel. See, they didn't say the whole world said, men of Israel. I will help thee, said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Who is the Holy One of Israel, the Redeemer? That's Yahweh Shai. When he's come back, he's coming back when it hurts as a gift. He's about to raise up a whole new government, new management. These men going to have power. They're going to be ruling with Yahweh Shai, man. You see, like right now, he said, fear thy worm, Jacob. Jacob is like a worm right now. Can't do nothing about Esau's rulership. He disempowered, doing whatever he want to do. But he said, what well, I will help thee by doing what? Giving those saints a crown that's going to come with power. It goes with Psalms 82 and 6 perfectly. You know, which let me go get that. Because this makes this precept make sense. Psalms 82 and 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. So now that you know who the children of the Most High are, which is the Israelites, if you've been in this thing for a minute, you know there's going to be 144,000 saints that are men. And what did Yahweh, you know, what did he have King David say in Psalms 82 and 6? He said, he said I have said, ye are gods. They're going to be like gods on earth, man. They're going to have powers. Yahweh said, you're going to say, you're going to do gifts that I've done and even greater. Yahushua is about to give his men power. That's what's coming back on the face of this planet. That's what comes when Yahushua is returning. Is a new government. The saints been raised up. Him being in the presence. Esau ain't going to better do nothing in the presence of Yahushua. And see, it's further back of what I just said right there. Let's go to, let's go to Obadiah. And watch how all these pieces I'm pulling go together, y'all, all to make sense to edify the body. But check it out, this Obadiah 1 and 21. And saviors shall come up on my Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. That backs up everything I just said and their statements I've been making. They're not baseless. They're based in the scriptures. I'm telling you how y'all shy about to do this thing. He tells you in the book. So if you're reading and we're going through the priests, open it up. You should see when Yahushua comes back, he's going to come with a righteous order and he's going to raise up men that are going to rule. That priest up right there, Obadiah backs it up. He says, saviors, plural. That's 144,000 on the Mount of Zion. This goes into Israel. You're going to judge the Mount of Esau. And we say, it's wicked. You got to go. In slavery. No if and buts about it. <laughs> you know, I done looked at your works, Esau. It's wickedness all the way through. You need to go into captivity. And he said, the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Y'all should I get back, man. Esau not going to rule nothing. Nothing. He going on auction blocks. Be sold and do work. And that's the best they going to get. Yahweh Shah is coming to bring a righteous order, harmony. He coming to bring power. And when he mind, he cracked them skies in that father shit. Let's get a precept to back that up. Man, it's going to be, man, Yahweh Shah about to make a glorious return. I mean, it's about to blow the whole world's mind. How about that? It's going to, I'm talking about animal, everybody. Everybody going to know. Earth going to shake. Man, he coming with chariots. 
And it looks half made versus kings and pre locker. They mean to play that. Look, watch this, but back it up. Watch this. This is Revelation one to seven, y'all, Sharala. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And it say he coming in the clouds. He said he cometh with clouds. And once you know the scriptures, cloud is a cold word for chariot. So it's basically saying that Yahweh Shah is going to come with chariots, pick up and destroy missions. About to come in and wreak havoc. It said, and every eye shall see him. Everybody going to know it's Yahweh Shah. Everybody going to see that fathership. Everybody going to see the chariots. Everybody about to see Yahweh Shah's glorious return. And it said, and they also which pierced him. That's going specifically in Esau. Because who pierced his side when he was on that cross? A Roman, you know, a Roman soldier. He pierced him. So that's going to talk about Esau. They're going to see it. And all kings of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. So all these other nations going to well when they see Yahweh shot. They're going to be, oh, no. The two-thirds going to be saying, oh, no. He said all kindreds. Only people going to rejoice in his return are going to be the hopeful elect. Only one's going to be happy to see his return. Because we've been praying and, and wishing on him right now. You know, people in the world ain't really looking for Yahweh Shah. They looking for a bag of money. We the hopeful like only ones anticipating the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. We the only ones. And so we're gonna rejoice at that day. And you know, really gonna be rejoicing. We get on that chariot, like a chariot got our name on, we get picked up in the chariot, caught up in the clouds. With Yahweh Shah, that's the finish line. You made it. First fruits. Don't get no better than that. <laughs> it don't get no better than that, y'all Sharala. You made it. You're gonna be part of the first fruit to set up the kingdom of heaven. That is, is, is glorious. So it's foolish right there. It don't get no better than that. You can't ask for no better than that. To get a righteous kingdom tailored for you and your people, and you get to be the beginning of that to set it up, it don't get no better than that. So that's why we're patiently waiting on Yahweh Shah because he's bringing the kingdom of heaven and, and we are ready for it. We want it. We're anticipating it. You know, we're ready to rule. We're ready to see the earth in its righteous order. And it's all coming when Yahweh Shah comes. And he's coming soon. He will be here soon. Because <laughs> Babylon the Great is done. She's done. Stick a fork in her. So... With that, hey, Lord willing, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, keep us in the good graces, keep us safe, keep giving us that mercy. And I say, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say, Quan Yahshua Allah, Detail by Bob, Shalom.